Hello, and welcome back to the Alternate History Channel, where we love to dive into the intricate what-ifs of our past. Remember, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And why not ring the notification bell so you never miss our journey through these fascinating historical alternatives. Today, we're heading to the vast, enigmatic lands of Russia, exploring a reality where Tsar Nicholas II didn't fall to revolution, but instead introduced profound reforms that transformed the Russian Empire. How would a reformed constitutional monarchy in Russia have changed the country's culture, economy and political landscape? What would be the implications for the world wars, the global balance of power and cultural developments throughout the 20th century? So sit back and join us as we dive into an alternate timeline where the Russian Revolution never happened. We begin our story in the early 20th century. Tsar Nicholas II, a man often criticised for his resistance to change, experiences a moment of revelation. Seeing the turmoil within his empire, he decides to commit to meaningful reform, aiming to alleviate the social tensions that threaten to tear Russia apart. In our timeline, Nicholas II was reluctant to share power, but in this alternate reality, he listens to advisers and public sentiment. In 1905, following the advice of Sergei Vitter, he introduces the October Manifesto, but unlike in our reality, he follows through with these reforms wholeheartedly, transforming Russia into a true constitutional monarchy. The Russian people are granted civil liberties previously unheard of under the Tsarist regime, Freedom of speech, assembly and association are enshrined in law. The Duma, Russia's parliament, becomes more than a consultative body. It holds genuine legislative power. Russia begins to move away from its agrarian past, embracing industrialization. This change is not without its struggles. The workers in factories and mines face harsh conditions, but improved workers' rights legislation leads to a significant improvement in their living and working conditions. The rapid industrial growth, however, leads to the expansion of the urban working class, the proletariat, who start becoming an influential force in society. With their newfound rights, they form unions, lobby for better conditions and gradually gain more power within the Duma. They become a crucial part of the political landscape, challenging the nobility's traditional monopoly on power. In terms of culture, the implications are immense. A freer society, the lifting of censorship, and the inclusion of the proletariat in the political discourse lead to a cultural renaissance. Russia experiences an outpouring of literature, music and art that capture the hopes, struggles and dreams of its people. Figures like Tolstoy and Dostoevsky, already significant in our timeline, become even more influential, shaping a new national consciousness. As we move into the second half of the 20th century, this newly reformed Russia begins to assert itself more on the global stage. The avoidance of the Russian Revolution leads to dramatically different world events. World War I still erupts in 1914, a conflict sparked by tensions between major powers. However, the reformed Russia enters the war as a more stable, economically prosperous nation. Its industrial base is better equipped to support the war effort, leading to a more robust Eastern Front against the Central Powers. The war still takes a toll on the country, but the absence of the internal Bolshevik revolution allows Russia to maintain a unified front. Fast forward to the end of World War I, the Treaty of Versailles still reshapes Europe, but without the Bolsheviks, there's no communist threat looming in the East. Consequently, the punitive measures against Germany aren't as severe. This change potentially avoids the economic devastation that facilitated the rise of Nazi Germany. Without a Soviet Union to form an ideological counterpoint, the political landscape of the 20th century is dramatically different. Fascism may not rise with the same intensity in Italy and Spain, and without a communist bloc, the configuration of alliances during World War II, if it even occurs, would be very different. Culturally, without the ideological divide of the Cold War, global culture becomes more homogenized, Russian literature, art and music have a profound influence on global cultural developments throughout the century. Figures like Shostakovich, Stravinsky and later Solzhenitsyn and Brodsky play a significant role on the world stage, impacting not only artistic expression but also social and political discourse globally. Economically, without a Soviet-style planned economy, Russia integrates more smoothly into the global market. 
it becomes a significant player in the international trading system, particularly in the energy sector, leveraging its vast natural resources. This potentially leads to more stable global energy prices and less east-west economic tension throughout the century. Technology and space exploration also take a different path. Without the US-Soviet space race, the moon landing might happen later, or potentially not at all. However, international cooperation in space exploration might occur earlier, leading to different scientific advancements. And that, dear viewers, brings us to the close of another fascinating journey through the corridors of an alternate past. Today, we delve deep into a world where Tsar Nicholas II's Russia underwent dramatic reforms, preventing the Bolshevik Revolution and drastically reshaping the 20th century. We saw a Russia evolving differently, fostering an enriched culture and a politically dynamic society. But what do you think of this alternate timeline? How do you imagine a reformed Tsarist Russia would have influenced the 20th century? We invite you to continue this historical speculation in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this journey through what could have been, please like this video and subscribe to the Alternate History channel for more fascinating excursions into the world of what if. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure through the pages of Alternate History.